Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video there's going to be a little bit of TIG brazing, a little bit of machining, which I took my cock up, um, basically a repair on, on the lathe. Um, and then we're going to talk about these things. Masks. Right, so this is the part of the, um, the cross slide that's been damaged and repaired in the past. This whole area here has at some point been snapped off, so I'm assuming something's hit it and broke, which would probably explain why the cross feed, the, the, the feed screw, is, is also bent. So what the plan is today is to take all this old repair out, both sides, um, redo it, machine it back, and hopefully we should last a little while longer. So we've got it back in. Um, it, you know, I've left this on there. So at the end of the day, it's added strength. It's not, it's not interfering with anything. Um, and it's a pretty crap repair, to be honest. Going forward, I am going to be replacing this whole assembly. Because, you know, it's taken a fall from the lead screw bent. We've tried our best to straighten it out, but it's just so difficult to operate. So. That's the next thing on the list. This is my go-to mask. Um, I use this every day, but my health and safety consultant came in and audited me last week and said, Jace, you, you've got no extraction. So I'm like, well, I can't afford extraction. It costs thousands. And he said, well, get an air-fed mask. So I did. So in this box is the mask. Um, let's open it up. Ooh, okay, so this is the Welltech Navitech 
Oh, Flip S4, I believe. I'm going to read it. It is Flip S4. Um, and on the box, you can see there's lots of things. All the same thing, actually. <laughs> so let's see what's in the box. Just like Christmas. <laughs> belt. There we go. Filter box. It's quite important with an AFM mask. Other uh, mask. Pretty good. Airflow meter. I mean what are we only doing? Battery pack. I imagine it's a charger then. Charger. Instructions. Other things. And a nice bag. Ah, great. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's um, let's get out of this packaging and see what we got. This is the mask. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's got a flip function, so you can grind as well. That's cool. Now, one thing I think is a bit of an issue there. Access the controls. You've got to turn the mask upside down and and reach in. Um, that probably isn't going to be an issue. But it does leave that exposed when you're grinding. That's an issue. So bear that in mind. So when you're using the grind, the grinding function, all those controls, you see what they are now exposed. Um, there's probably a bit of a design issue there, they should look at that, possibly, I don't know. All in all, the mask seems pretty well made. The materials are alright. The curtain, again, it seems okay. It's got a decent headband. Uh, and that's your inlet there. Uh, yeah. That seems... Pretty cool. So this would be the filter box. You should have your air pump in it. And your filters. So this is the bit. This is the bit that's saving me thousands, to be honest, because uh, to put extraction in here, it's, uh, it's not cheap. But you can get this mask for around the 400 pound mark, um, and it will satisfy. Your health and safety executive. Which I'm assuming. Hang on. Let me read the instructions. I don't know why I never read the instructions. Okay, so now that I've read the instructions, um, I've put it together. It was quite simple to put it together, so there's, there's no need to show you that. It's very self explanatory when you get the, uh, the mask. But what I will say is for a mask that you're spending £400 on, um, one set of lenses or lens covers, I don't think that's enough. Um, yeah, that's a bit cheap. So, obviously you've got your standard lens on the front, which isn't a standard lens, that's shaped. So you're not going to just be able to go and get one anywhere. Um, and then you've got the full visor mask, uh, visor lens, the other one, for the grinding. Again, not a standard shape. Not something you're just going to be able to get off the shelf. You're going to have to order more in. So I don't know how much they are, um, but for a relatively cheap pad, and the overall cost of the mask, albeit not the most expensive mask in the world, that's cheap, guys. Seriously, you know, you could just chuck in another set of lenses for the people who are investing 
this kind of money in your product, make it worth their while. Right, that said, overall it's lovely. Um, this belt could be a little bit limiting um, if you're like me and you're on the, the porky side of not being fat, but being fat, or you've just got a larger than average waist, which unfortunately I have. Um, there's not a lot of scope in that belt. Okay, so once you, once you get past, I don't know, 34 inch waist, you might, you might need to make some alterations. Well, I suppose I better put it on. <sighs> um, I, yeah, well, um, so this is a really good airflow. I've got this set on one. It's cleared the mask straight away. Um, right, so all told, um, that wasn't an unpleasant experience. There was nice cool air being blown over my face. Um, and yeah, this is going to be really handy in work. A um, bit peeved about there only being one set of lenses. Um, you've got to make your own mind up on that. Disassemble is really simple. And I say it comes with this bag. No, go away. It comes with this bag. All fits in really nicely. All packed away, carry strap or you've got handles you can loop together. Actually, I'd probably prefer to do that. Oh, it's useless with Velcro. Which way do you want to go? That one. So we've got a Velcro strap or we've got a shoulder strap. Side pocket in there for all your bits and pieces, which you can't see because it's off camera. Hey, there you go. Do I think it was worth 400 quid? Mm, yeah, because it saved me a couple of grand. Um, do I think it's good value for money? Um, good value for money. So you've got to go and see what else is out there as well. Me personally, I use Artec for pretty much all my welding supplies, for any equipment I need, um, purely because they're actually quicker than the guys who are literally down the road from me. I can order from Artec and whatever I order is with me as long as it's in stock the next day, which is fine. Um, they offer different variants on this mask. You can buy the mask with it, the battery packs, blah, blah, blah. You can, you know, you can buy it in, in different stages. Not that I can see the point to that unless you've already got a battery pack and you just need a mask to you know, fit, fit that up to. Personally, 400 quid is not that much money for what this is saving me. I would have liked another set of lenses. That's a big bugbear for me, lenses. You know, every other mask you buy, you get spare lenses with it, but not that one. So, I, uh, just as a brief outline, I hope that was a mm, helpful video. Um, the mask is, it's well made. Don't get me wrong, it's well made. It's definitely worth the money. Um, they are a bit tight when it comes to the screens. Um, they could do with a few more screen protectors in the box for you. Um, I'm not sure how much the replacements are going to cost, but going forward, mm, it's just a consumable, I suppose. I you know, need to expect to pay for it. Um, take brazing, I just don't get on with take brazing. And no matter what it seems to be, that I'm welding, there always seems to be in, just oil in there, and I just can't get the bloody stuff out, and mm, hence the nightmare I have with take brazing. Especially on cast iron parts, which you, know, you saw. Anyway, it'll keep me going for a while. I'll have to um, see if I can get a replacement part. Um, in all honesty, the, the, the lead screw nuts and that uh, mount all, all need to be replaced. At some point, that, that lathe has been dropped on its front uh, and bent it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, right, well, I think that's us for today. Um, 
thanks to everybody for coming to watch. Um, if you've liked it, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe um, and tell your friends. Um, and on that note, I think I'll leave it there. I'll catch you on the next one.